All right, welcome back to another episode of Magnetic Marketing. I'm your host, Johanna Hunt. I'm excited today. We're going to talk a little bit about high ticket versus low ticket and what you need to know. And I'm going to share with you a little bit of a different perspective in this either or world uh, when it comes to choosing a business opportunity that is the right fit for you and how I see things a little bit differently. So if we've never met, I would recommend heading over to my website, johannahunt.ca. You can pick up my free social media guide. I've got lots of made, lots of amazing resources over there for home business owners, network marketers, affiliate marketers. I have been working in this space for over a decade uh, since 2011, when I was first getting started in traditional network marketing, I come from a background in marketing and sales. And having been a business owner, having been an entrepreneur, I've started lots of different things. <laughs> I've done lots of different things. Um, and I've integrated them into my brand to uh, really build a vision that I had for what I wanted my life to look like, what I wanted my business to look like. And so you know, a lot of people believe in multiple income streams, but it's funny because when it comes to the conversation around building a business, they will uh, kind of look at, well, I need to either do this or I need to either do that, or this is better than this. And so when it comes to high ticket versus low ticket, I want to reframe your mindset a little bit first off before I dive into the verses um, and what is what are the benefits of each of these. So. You know, if you've ever subscribed to somebody like Brendan Burchard or Tony Robbins or um, who else do I have a guy on my book here, Grant Cardone, uh, Russell Brunson, you know that you can buy multiple products from these guys, right? You can buy their course, you can buy their book, you can purchase their coaching, you can purchase their masterminds, right? And their book might cost $7, $13, or maybe you just paid the shipping. Their courses might be anywhere from $79 to $140 to $297. Uh, their coaching is gonna be high ticket. They're gonna have high ticket courses, high ticket coaching, and high ticket masterminds. Your business isn't really that different, right? Now, I don't recommend trying to integrate all of these things at the same time, but do you see any of these people who you probably emulate when it comes to the digital space, choosing high ticket versus low ticket, right? They all serve the same exact audience, but they have multiple offers in their product suite in different ways that they serve that audience. But the end goal is all the same, right? So they're able to serve an audience that maybe can only start out with, a, with paying the free shipping or paying the shipping on their book um, or buying their course. But over time, that person stays on their email list and that person starts to uh, you know, build up their confidence, they start to build up their income, they start to have more means to invest back in their business, they're probably gonna go back to that same person and purchase the next level, right? And so I purchased multiple things from you know, a $24 ebook when I was looking into getting started in digital marketing to a $297 blogging course to a $3,000 investment I made to learn digital marketing and to become an affiliate marketer of that company and, you know, learn high ticket sales. So I have, I have, uh, invested based on kind of where I was at in my business at that time and what I had to invest. Right. And so here's what I love about high ticket versus low ticket, especially if you're in the network marketing space or you're in the affiliate space, why would you put yourself into the category of one or the other? Why would you only offer one of them to your audience when your audience could possibly benefit from one more than the other, or at least right now, or even both, right? And when it comes to network marketing and affiliate marketing, there's not really a better marriage of two types of products that you can bring together in a product suite than network marketing and affiliate marketing. <laughs> they are absolutely brilliant. And here's why. So. I started out as a network marketer and I was not getting the training I needed to build my business in the digital space, right? The sales training that these companies offer does not transfer into the marketing space, social media marketing, digital marketing. It is a skill set that you have to learn and it's not being taught. So what did I do? I went out and I invested my own money into learning the training to build my network marketing business. But in the process, I invested in a program that cost me a lot, right? 
also taught me a lot, but allowed me to turn around and share that same program through an affiliate code with other people in my industry who were struggling. So how amazing was it that now I have two offers. I have people who are following me in network marketing who uh, you know, are looking for training and I can give them the same training that I took that benefited me, that helped me free myself <laughs> from the life I was living of constantly living paycheck to paycheck, struggling financially, trading time for money, um, you know, and get out of that situation and struggling to build my network marketing business, I can give that high ticket program to them, right? And they can invest in their own training. And then the other great thing is, is that, you know what, sometimes people are in high ticket, but they're looking for a low end offer or a lower end offer, low ticket. Um, or maybe they're wanting to diversify um, and, you know, I've even had people who are in high tickets that, you know, often high ticket um, businesses are very, very masculine driven businesses. And they were looking for a more feminine business model. And so they actually benefited from my network marketing business because they wanted to be more in their feminine. They wanted to, um, you know, promote products that were actual physical products that were helping them with their health goals, with their anti-aging goals, with their beauty goals. And so they were able to integrate that in. There's so many different possibilities when you remove this high ticket versus low ticket and you think to yourself, low ticket and high ticket, right? And you know, oftentimes uh, when it comes to affiliate programs, when it comes to network marketing, um, if you're, you know, a leader in that space and you're helping guide people to success, you know, they might be happy in the situation that they're currently in. Maybe it's their network marketing business that's working really well for them and they're really happy with where they're at or it's the affiliate, but something happens in that company. They change the compensation plan. They change the commission levels. They change their ingredients policy. Uh, that you know something happens where they're just not finding themselves in alignment with the way they're building or with the way the company's going or something within the team dynamics. It could be a number of things. People change situations all the time. Um, and so now you have two opportunities, right? You might have somebody who has been following you, who's been enjoying the, the affiliate marketing or the network marketing training that you're having and you know they've loved where they're at but now they're looking for a change and now you have two options right and you can also offer them your network marketing opportunity so uh, or it could be anything right it could be uh you know for me i have a course suite i have courses that range from 27 dollars to 297 dollars but if somebody really wants to learn all the ins and outs of digital marketing and they really want to set up a business in the same exact way i have they're going to want to they're going to want to invest in the high ticket program that I also invested in, right? To really get the full on training. But if there's somebody who's kind of starting out, they might prefer to get my prospecting masterclass. Um, you know, it's a low investment, it's low risk, but it's gonna teach them how to properly uh, build their audience, grow their audience and their network, right? Or maybe they have a little bit more to invest. They wanna build their network marketing business. They're not ready for that digital platform yet, so to speak. And so they're going to want to buy my social selling course, right? And maybe that's more in their price range for getting started. So this is the thing. It doesn't need to be either or. And the thing is, is what I find is that most of the time when people are promoting in their content, having walked away from network marketing to get into high ticket and, you know, they're really excited about, you know, making um, commissions on higher ticket items versus the low ticket items of network marketing. There's a couple of things you need to understand. One, it's marketing, right? And it's not better or, or worse. <laughs> Neither one of them are, is better or worse. And so sometimes people create this content and they create this sort of fear driven mentality, like you're in the wrong opportunity. You're not in the right kind of business. The business model that you're in isn't working as well. And so I want you to just understand and be educated on the different business models so that you have an idea of what it is you're actually looking at, right? And the difference between them. So here's the things that I often see when people talk about high ticket versus low ticket. They'll, they'll talk about 
you know, starting every month over or de-ranking. This is a huge myth around network marketing. Now there might be some businesses that have something like that in place, but that's not every business. That's not the industry standard, okay? Where you de-rank or you're starting over. You are never starting over. Even if you change businesses and you change companies, you're not starting over because you built your network, right? And you built a customer base and you built a team. And so there is no de-ranking there's no de-ranking. As long as you are actively working your business, you will continue to make money at that level of business and beyond. And that would be the same as if you were in, say, for for example, my, my old business, uh, when I was first starting to branch out on my own, I was an event manager and I started my own event company. So let's say like, you know, I'm getting going first couple months. I'm not making any money, right? Cause I'm just getting started. I'm laying a foundation. I'm out networking. I'm out hustling. I start to bring in some clients and you know, I have a great month. Let's say I make $10,000 that month. Well, I'm not going to continue to sustain $10,000 the next month and the next month if I just don't work. But if I put that work in continuously, it's going to compound and I'm, I'm going to continue having 10K months and beyond, or maybe you're in a coaching business or you're a trainer or whatever. It's the same exact thing in your network marketing business. If you have a good business model, if you have good systems in place, if you are active in your business and you're not treating it like a hobby, you're going to see that. My business has grown month after month, every single month since 2017 when I was first getting started, right? My first business did not do that over six years. It was like this very uh, nauseating roller coaster ride because there wasn't a solid system in place for me to build on social media, right? And the way the business was structured, it just wasn't structured in that way. Same industry, different business models, okay? So you get paid in both affiliate marketing and network marketing, low ticket, high ticket for your effort. Bottom line, it's all about your effort. And here's the thing. So, you know, a lot of times people struggle in network marketing because they're not meeting new people. They don't know how to build an audience. They don't know how to uh, create conversation that converts. They don't know how to create content that converts. They don't have a sales process or an exposure process that they lead people to, and they don't know how to close. They don't even follow up oftentimes, and they're inconsistent with their activity or they're very consistent at doing the wrong activities, right? Or the ones that feel good for them. And so they think the issue is deranking, starting over, having to meet minimums, et cetera, et cetera, right? It has nothing to do with it. Um, and so, you know, when it comes to high ticket, I want you to ask yourself, do you have the skills of building an audience? Do you have the skills of growing your audience, having conversations with them, creating content that converts, uh, you know, creating conversation that converts, exposing them. Do you know how to close a high ticket sale? Because if you don't know how to close a hundred dollar product in your network marketing company, good luck closing a 2000 or $3,000 high ticket. Now my personal recommendation and what we do in both my low ticket <laughs> offer, which pays me the most in all of my income streams, um, and the most consistently, but also in high ticket is to be part of a program where people close for you. There is nothing like getting yourself out of the way and having the mentors close for you. So in, in our you know network marketing business, I close for my team. I even close for my mentor. He closes for me. Uh, and in my high ticket affiliate, we have calls and closers as well, right? So our job is always just to build our personal brand, create converting content, create conversation, build our audience, and we let our systems do the exposing and we let our and, and we let our mentors do the closing, right? And this is why I'm able to leverage my time, I'm able, able to make more sales, but I'm also honing my own skills like in the process of doing, right? Cuz I'm learning from the best, okay? So that's a big thing when it comes to high ticket versus low ticket. You want to look for what kind of support do you have in place? What kind of systems are in place? It's less about the business model and it's about the system that's being implemented within that business model that's going to help you become more successful. So um, high ticket versus low ticket. I talk a lot about 
passive versus residual income, and this is the last thing I want to talk about and close with, is that, you know, high ticket, so, so when you have a high ticket item, you need to know exactly who your niche is, and you need to have a niche that can afford your high ticket program, okay? That's the biggest thing. And so when you close a sale in high ticket, that's a one-time sale. You don't make repeat sales on that one, that one item ever again, okay? So that person is going to buy your program, uh, your digital product, your affiliate high ticket sale. Um, if it's coaching high ticket, they might re-enroll, right? But as far as affiliate marketing comes, uh, goes is they buy that once and that's it, that's the sale. Now it can be passive, right? If you have a good system in place, they've enrolled into your freebie, they bought your upsell, they're in your emails, funnels and systems, um, and you know they're getting close on the calls that are provided for them and you, you don't have to be present for any of that. That is a passive sale, okay? That's a sale from, yes, you're doing work, you're creating content, you're building your audience, you're doing your due diligence, but you're not actually having to presently make that sale happen, right? So it is passive. High ticket is passive, can be passive. Oftentimes when you're starting out and you're learning, you know, how things work, it's, it's usually not passive, right? Like you're there for the sale, you're learning and earning at the same time, but you're not going to make a residual income on that sale. Okay. So when it comes to low ticket, like something like network marketing, depending on the business that you're in, depending on the product that you sell, you have potential for both passive if you're using the right kind of system, but also for a residual. And this compounds time, time after time, month after month, year after year, right? So I have consumable products, I have weight loss products, liquid collagen products, I have multivitamins, I have, I have products that people take every single day and they bring results. And so my customers spend an average of two to $400 a month on their products every single month. And they've been doing that for five years. And every month I'm bringing in new customers who are on our rewards program, um, who are, you know, through this system that we use. And so can you imagine what that looks like? Yes, it's low ticket, but I'm making money on it month after month after month after month, okay? And then I also have built a team, which is not necessary in our opportunity. We're not a recruiting-based model. However, I have had a team for over five years and they're duplicating my success, right? They're also earning trips. They're also acquiring customers on a regular basis. Their customers are also spending two to $400. That is compounding month after month. So I'm not just being paid on the efforts of my own personal enrollments in my team and in my customer sales, but also on my entire organization, all of their customers and everybody that they recruit. And now let me just be super clear here because a lot of people think that I get paid out of their paycheck um, or somehow there's money taken away from them in order to pay me. That's not how it works, right? If somebody enrolls with me, I don't get paid for that. If somebody does nothing, I don't get paid for, for that either, right? I get paid to help the, the people that I enroll have success, whether it's having customers have success on products or my team having success in the business. I don't get paid if they are not successful. When they make their money, they make the exact same commissions that I make. And some of them actually, you know, have made more on the product side of things because I was a better recruiter in the beginning than I was at getting customers, right? Um, some of them have earned incentives that I wasn't earning, right? So it is in the right model, and this is how you know if you're in the right model or not, your, your enrollments, uh, your downline can surpass you. They can surpass you at different levels. They can surpass your income. They can make more money than you. Um, so the, the idea that I make money off of them or from them or anything like that, that's just one of those myths in network marketing that people believe. And there are some businesses that have done things like that. Um, I'm not personally aware of any of those, but I know there have been some scams in the past, right? It's very hard to have a business like that nowadays because our industry is actually very regulated from the products that we develop and create and offer to the business compensation 
to the ethics of the way we do business, right? There's an, it, the industry as a whole is supported through um, organizations that make sure that businesses stay in integrity. So um, the, <laughs> if you still think these businesses, affiliate marketing, network marketing is a pyramid scheme, you need to catch up with the times, right? Um, so the, that is the difference, right? So you can make residual income and you can make passive income in network marketing. You can make passive income and right now money in high ticket. Yes, you're going to get paid out right away for high ticket or some, some businesses might have like they pay you per month, but most businesses with high ticket, they pay you fairly regularly. Like it's not a month to month sales. Here's the thing with network marketing and why we close months, why we have month ends. And now in some companies, in some businesses, I know month end is like this huge thing and it's very stressful. And most of the reason why is they don't have a system in place for regularly generating leads, regularly generating sales. And so then people want to, you know, hit these ranks at the end of the month and they make this huge push at the end of the month because they haven't really been, a lot of people haven't really been working their business most of the month. And that's why it's stressful, right? We have a system where we know what to implement every single day in our business and we just do that repeatedly. So there's not really a month end, right? Like we, we often close ranks a week before the end of the month, days before the end of the month, because we're just very, very consistent in doing the right things. Now, the reason we have to close month to month, and this is the same in many different sales industries, um, you know, when it comes to sales, whether it comes to real estate, car sales, anything like that, you have certain quotas to meet and you have certain reasons why, like you're working under a huge structure and you're being paid out commissions on, you know, and, and overrides and bonuses. Well, in our company, we pay out overrides, we pay out customer reorders, we pay out, um, you know, when a team rank advances, uh, they get a bonus, you get a bonus, completely separate, um, you know, incentives that we're offering for the month. So we get paid twice a day on all of our product sales and our enrollments, but then we also get paid once a month on all of our overrides and our bonuses and everything. And you need to be able to close out each month and know what the numbers were to be able to reward your social marketers for all of the incentives and bonuses that they've earned. Otherwise, how would you do that, right? And so that, you know, I can go into detail about that, but I would be getting into detail about the compensation plan and this video would just be way too long. So understand why these structures are in place in different business models. It is not a this versus that, or this is better, or that is better. Like a lot of this stuff is just, um, clickbaity titles and clickbaity content to get you to look at shiny objects that are passing by and think, oh, maybe this is better. Oh, maybe I'm struggling in this because I'm in the wrong business, etc., etc. right? And so um, I don't believe in any of that. Yes, there are some business models that are better than others, right? There are going to be ones that are easier for you. If you are somebody who has influence, if you're somebody who has money to invest, if you're somebody who has uh, sales, um, uh, experience, um, if you're great at creating content, et cetera, et cetera, go in, go right into high ticket, dive right into high ticket, right? It's going to serve you really well. Low ticket will serve you as well. If you're somebody who has very little experience, you're trying to make money in the online space. You've struggled with blogging. You've struggled with network marketing. You've struggled with pretty much everything you've tried so far. And you think high ticket is the answer to help you get rich quick. That's just not the case. That's not how it works, right? You have to build the skill set. You have to build the mindset. You have to build the audience. You have to build the influence because nobody's going to buy from you if you don't have influence just because you have a high ticket offer. Make sense? Okay. So I hope this video is helpful for you. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm going to also leave you some links to my low ticket, low ticket and high ticket offer. I'm going to leave you a link to the Freedom Fempire if you're curious to learn more about social retail, social marketing, and building a social selling business um, where you have the ability to make both passive and residual income. Um, and then I'm going to leave you a link for my affiliate program, for my high ticket program. If you're somebody who is maybe already in network marketing or you're looking for affiliate marketing and you're trying to figure things out, or maybe 
you know, you just don't know how to build your business online or you're curious about the digital marketing space and you want to learn from some of the best in the industry. These guys have been around for a very long time. I learned through them how to both build my network marketing business as well as my affiliate marketing business. And that's what's helped me, um, you know, be on multiple platforms and learn the ins and outs and create an automated system because of products like this and programs like this that have taught me. And what I love about it is they are specifically designed to help network marketers and affiliate marketers build their business in the digital space using attraction marketing. And so they're going to teach you all the skill sets that you need to know and you can do basically duplicate the kind of business systems that I put into place and they're going to teach you all of that. So I will leave the link for that below for you as well and you can check it out. They have a 14 day free trial so you can actually pop inside of the entire program and you can look around and see the kind of training that's offered and the kind of resources. They teach you everything from building your network marketing business, building an affiliate business, uh, how to create your own courses, how to create a coaching practice, how to build out a multifaceted business that has multiple offers in your product suite from low ticket to high ticket. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope it gave you some great insights and I will see you in next week's video. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the little bell button. I have a new video every single Monday, 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time.